and welcome to episode 30 of the ERP Minute. I'm your host, Rebecca McCabe. Oracle announced their fiscal 2022 quarter three results. Total quarterly revenues were up 4% year over year to 10.5 billion. Fusion ERP cloud revenue is up 33% and NetSuite ERP cloud revenue is up 27%. From our perspective, we were interested to note that Oracle is continuing to innovate its MySQL HeatWave open source database. As we reported in the past, Oracle has a unique offering over its enterprise application competitors in that it offers a full stack solution from the data center to the database, to the application servers and the applications themselves. Last week, SAP completed its acquisition of a majority stake of Talia, a leading provider of working capital management solutions. Talia's platform allows trading partners to determine payment terms with much more flexibility than traditional restrictions. We see this as SAP working towards offering more services than software feature functionality and moving further into critical financial processes where they make the applications even more vital to a company's operations. Sage recently announced the launch of Sage Intact Manufacturing in France. Vice President of Product for Sage, Rob Sinfield states, serving as a complementary solution within our portfolio to the more complex capabilities offered by Sage X3, Sage Intact Manufacturing provides smaller manufacturing businesses with the opportunity to use best-in-class technology at a scale that suits them. We think this is a brilliant strategy for Sage, who can leverage the legacy of the Sage customer base and name to offer more best-of-breed functionality by industry, including construction and now manufacturing. We are optimistic about where Sage will take the solution throughout the world. On a different note, Microsoft's Azure Quantum program has developed devices that can create quantum properties, which scientists have imagined for nearly a century. Microsoft's approach to building a quantum computer aims at creating more stable machines than those built with other types of known qubits, and therefore will be able to scale like no other has before. With these significant resources that Microsoft and other ERP companies have, we foresee these companies developing infrastructure level innovations such as these. We do expect that this and similar hardware innovations will continue to completely radicalize the speed and automation that enterprise software can solve clients' issues, especially as they face talent shortages and demand for more automation. Thanks for tuning into the ERP Minute. We're always looking for newsworthy material to share with our listeners, so send us breaking ERP news. Be sure to subscribe to our Apple, Podcast, Spotify, and YouTube channels so you never miss an episode. We'll see you next week.